Please understand you're performing this repair at your own risk. We cannot be held responsible for any injuries or damage done to your device while attempting a repair. To complete this repair, we're going to need a small torque screwdriver, small flathead screwdriver, in addition to one or two case opener tools. Our first step is to open up the iPod so that we can access the hard drive. And we're going to wedge our case opener tool in between the front and back housing. It'll help if you press on the back and the center, not too hard, but just enough so that it brings the rear casing slightly away from the front, allowing us to wedge our tool in there. With our tool wedged in there, we're going to apply downward force and slide upwards, and then back down, releasing all the clips on the right side of the iPod. Once we free the clips on this half of the iPod, we'll be free to set it face down, and then we can open the case up to the right. Now be careful because the headphone jack and hold switch assembly is still plugged into the logic board, and there's also adhesive holding the bend and the cable together. We now have access to the hard drive, which is the chrome square with the blue bumpers surrounding it. Before we remove the hard drive, we're going to want to unplug the battery to prevent any damage. The hard drive is plugged into a cable, which you can see at the top, it's an orange cable with a number of pins. And to remove this, we'll grab a hold of the cable and pull the drive down. Install the blue rubber bumpers on the new hard drive and carefully plug the new drive in. Snap the rear cover back on the iPod and we've completed the repair. Now the drives may or may not come formatted. You'll know if the drive was formatted if the iPod boots to its normal menu. If it was not formatted, the iPod will show a folder icon on the screen and all you'll have to do is connect the iPod to iTunes and click the restore button. When prompted, unplug the USB cable and plug the iPod into a wall charger for 10 seconds to complete the restore process. Hopefully you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to comment or contact us directly through our website. Thanks for watching.